What's going on my fellow AFKers? Today we're on the free to play account and we're going to be covering the section of AFK Arena's Ranhorn. When you're new to the game, there's a lot of features uh, that are available to you and I know sometimes it could be a little bit overwhelming. So today I figured we'd put together a little short uh, guide on what you're actually looking at when you're looking inside of Ranhorn, the tab at the bottom of your phone or at the bottom of your screen when you're playing AFK Arena. So Ranhorn is a town. We have access to the guild, the Oak Inn, the Library, the Temple of Ascension, the Resonating Crystal, the Noble Tavern, the Wall of Legends, the Rickety Cart, the Store, and the Trading Hub. So starting from the top, uh, the first function is the Guild. This is where you can join an active community uh, who plays AFK every single day. You have exclusive access to features only available to a Guild, such as a Guild Store, which has a refresh timer and um, you know gear that is only exclusive to you, who is a member of that Guild. Lots of legendary equipment here that can help you grind out and get further in your campaign, further in King's Tower, and anything uh, battle-related. So that is one of the perks of being inside of a guild. Uh, second, you have access to guild hunt, which you're able to defeat Riz uh, every single day twice for additional loot in-game. And then once your uh, guild has enough points, you'll be able to take out Soren as well for additional loot as well. So that's something that uh, to look forward to for joining the guild, guys. You also have access to Twisted Realms and Cursed Realms uh, inside of the Hellscape as well. Once you get to a certain progression inside of your game as being a part of a guild, that is an exclusive feature for them too. And then to top it off, you also have the camaraderie of being inside of a uh, guild with an awesome community. Hopefully you guys are in an active guild that plays each and every day, especially for those who are newer players. Sometimes uh, it's easy to talk to somebody and chat with somebody in your guild when you need some advice on what heroes you need to ascend or just things that you need to do to progress in the game or just quick uh, you know, tips and tricks. So these are the bonuses of being inside of a guild. Uh, currently, we did put together a brand new guild uh, called WZEP. You guys are more than welcome to join, especially those looking for an active community and active guild. Our guild ID is 19008238923, and our guild name is WZEP. Currently, we have 17 members with a cap of 35, and we're at level 2. Like I said, more of a brand new guild. Um, I'm a new player myself, so I am not perfect. I am learning, and uh, definitely helps to have some of these seasoned players helping me along my journey as well. But like I said, man, this is a guild that's open to everybody in the community. It doesn't matter if you're brand new. It doesn't matter if you're a seasoned player. We would love to have you. We are active and live every single day, um, seven days a week over on Facebook Gaming as we live stream AFK Arena. Love to have you guys be a part of that uh, AFK uh, Arena stream. So I will drop the uh, Discord link for those who want to join our active community. And uh, like I said, we did share our guild information for anybody who does want to join an active guild. We definitely are that, okay? And we're going to be playing AFK Arena all year long. So we are going to be growing super fast. And so it's very important for those who are looking for a community like this that you guys hurry up and join while those uh, that real estate, those uh, spots are still available inside of our guild. Moving on inside of Ranhorn, you have the library. This is a portion of AFK Arena uh, where you can get bonus stats towards your heroes. Uh, to all heroes, actually. So you want to make sure you're currently always leveling this up uh, when you do have uh, these uh, flawless droplets that come available to you as you're progressing through the game. So that is a cool thing inside of the library. Uh, a lot of other bonus features that you will get as you continue in your campaign uh, once you hit certain stages that will actually come available to you. And then you also have unions, too. This is where you can uh, actually level up uh, heroes that you place on here as well um, when you're using them inside of uh, your campaign or inside of battle. So you want to make sure you're filling up all these spots inside of your unions as well inside of the library as you're progressing in AFK Arena. Outside of the library, we have the Temple of Ascension. We will be putting together a Temple of Ascension guide uh, for those who are beginners, uh, for things that we've learned along our journey that can definitely be helpful for you so that you're not wasting heroes inside of heroes. This is a big portion of what is going to uh, determine your progression inside of uh, AFK Arena. So this is where you sacrifice heroes basically to uh, upgrade other heroes. So if you didn't know, AFK Arena has different tiers of heroes all the way from rare uh, to ascended. And this is where the magic happens. This is where you turn a, a basic hero into the strongest form of himself possible. So uh, that is a generic breakdown of the Temple of Ascension, but we will be going more into it in far further detail Inside of another YouTube video, is strictly covering the Temple of Ascension. So I'd love to have you guys be a part of that. Just make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when that video does become available, you guys can check that out, okay? Next, you have the Resonating Crystal. 
This is a spot where you actually place heroes on it who are level one, and they will take the level of uh, your lowest hero out of your top five hero levels. So if you have four level 130s and one uh, level 129, they'll take the level of that 129. But once that level 129 hits 130, everybody will be 130. But they take that lowest hero's level, and uh, basically whoever you place on that crystal will copy that level, which is very good so that you're not wasting your resources in game for these heroes by leveling them up the traditional way. Uh, it's super easy just to drop them on here. And you also stack uh, this in-game currency uh, for the resonating crystal. Uh, after clearing chapters, you gain this. Like I said, we just gained a, a new uh, slot right here where we can place another hero on the resonating crystals. So uh, this is definitely something that you guys should be doing. Uh, like you said, you just seen uh, her go from level one to 120. And now she has access to a lot more skills than what she had before. So that is pretty much the resonating crystal. You can also uh, spend diamonds if you don't have the currency needed to unlock the slot. But I would recommend just clearing your campaign and uh, you know upgrading those slots as uh, the time comes for that. After the Resonating Crystal, you have the Noble Tavern. This is where the bread and the butter is done. Uh, this is where you do all of your summons for AFK Arena, your 10 summons to get all your, you know, heroes inside of the game. We did do a video over a wish list on what we wanted to put on our wish list uh, as we do get our summons. For those who don't know what a wish list is, heroes that you place on here, you have a higher chance of summoning. So you want to make sure you guys actually fill this out. It's, you don't want to get a lower tier hero when you could have got a better hero just from placing them on your wish list. So... We did put a YouTube guide over uh, AFK Arena wishlist that is currently out. Check that out, guys, if you need some uh, quick tips. But we are going to be updating it and making a new one as some of those heroes are a little bit outdated. Uh, so I will be making a new wishlist. If anybody has anything they recommend we put on here, I would love to hear that as well. But that is the first thing you want to do inside of the Noble Tavern. After you're done making your wishlist, uh, this is where you'll do your summons. You can do your summons from getting uh, scrolls, common scrolls, which once you stack 10, you can do a 10 summon of that. But if you don't have 10 common scrolls, you can also stack up your diamonds to 2,700 and do a 10 summon there. Outside of that, guys, uh, you have additional summons. Like uh, right now, this is a mauler summon. So this is more of a faction summon, which is on a uh, hourly basis. So this rotates after a certain amount of time to a different faction. But if you want to speed up the process, you can use some diamonds and uh, actually switch the faction. This is for more of those people who are looking for a specific faction of heroes to get. Um, like I said, you do stack scrolls on this as well from participating in events, so that's why you wanna make sure you're doing your events every single time they're available. And uh, one thing that I will say inside of the Noble Tavern is make sure you guys are only doing the 10 summons. Don't do the one summons. RNG can definitely get you and uh, hold you back inside of this game. So you wanna make sure you're maximizing your capability of getting those elite heroes and top tier heroes by doing your 10 summons, okay? Next, you have your uh, heart summons. These are companion points that you get from uh, your friends that you have in game. Uh, once you stack up to 100 hearts, you can do a 10 summon. Uh, for those who don't know, once you have friends in game, you can send and receive hearts, which I can actually show you that process here uh, by clicking this send and receive. And then you'll uh, send your hearts to your friends and they also do the same to you. Once they send you hearts, you just click the same button and you'll receive it up here. The more friends you have, uh, the more hearts you can get, but there is a daily maximum cap, currently minus 40, so just keep that in mind. Uh, after 40 friends for me, like that 41st friend, I will not be able to claim that heart until the next day. So That is uh, pretty much the Noble Tavern uh, in a nutshell. We will be doing an in-depth video for the Noble Tavern uh, as well here in the near future, so be looking out for that as well. And We'll also, like I said, be doing an updated wishlist guide. Moving on from the uh, Noble Tavern, you have the Wall of Legends. Uh, this is kind of where like everybody on your server, you know, the best of the best, they clear certain things that nobody has cleared before, and you're actually able to reap the benefit from it by uh, collecting diamonds. So for example, Markron, he was the first player on the server to complete all chapter uh, 34 stages, and from that, I was able to claim 50 diamonds. So definitely check this out every single time uh, you have that red notification symbol on it, as this is just free diamonds for you. For the work of other uh, players inside of your server so on to the next uh, is the rickety cart this is where you will be uh, basically retiring those common heroes that you get the green uh, border heroes that you get that you can't really do anything with uh, this is where you will retire them you can put it on auto select um, or you can do auto select if you want to uh, do them all but if not 
You can also put on automatically retire new common heroes, which is where anytime a new common hero comes into your uh, hero pool, it'll automatically retire them and you'll get their resources. But if you just want to do it one by one, you can turn that off and uh, just retire them manually like this. Uh, reason why you can do this is some players like they like to keep at least one common hero so that when they have the daily uh, quest to level up a hero one time, all they have to do is go in here and they level up uh, a common hero, which uses way less resources to level up than a uh, you know a rare plus hero. So that is something to keep in mind uh, as you guys are progressing in AFK Arena. Uh, that is a little quick, quick uh, tip for that. But that is pretty much the rickety cart in a nutshell. You can also reset heroes. Uh, basically, like when you want to put a hero on the uh, resonated crystal who is 120 and you want to make him level 1 now because you have another hero that you want to place as your main uh, level up you know, campaign heroes, that's where you would do this. This is where you retire those heroes and make them level 1 again and you also get all their resources back. So, Aside from the rickety cart, you have the store. Uh, this is where you can buy lots of amazing items. Uh, there are several different stores. Right here is the main one, though, where you will use your in-game currency gold to be able to buy uh, all these items that are available on a timely uh, refresh. So usually I come in here and I buy this right here, the Hero's Essence, as uh, that's probably the most important thing in there. I don't really use my dimes inside of the store, but if you uh, want to, the, they do have cool items available like this uh, Refuge Mythic Helmet, which is pretty decent. Outside of that, you have the guild store. Like I said, this is only active or available to those who are a part of a guild. You're more than welcome to join ours, though. If you need a guild that's active in the community, uh, that is a place for you, and you're more than welcome to join us. Also, you have the barracks store. This is where you guys will get your uh, hero coins from doing events inside of the game, uh, progressing inside of the labyrinth. Once you get these hero coins, you can buy lots of amazing items such as, uh, you know, elite hero soul stones for an elite summon. You can also buy heroes uh, for a decent price here, like um, the ones listed available inside of this store. Then you also have uh, rare hero soul stones as well for rare summons. And if you also want to get common enhancement tokens, those are available to you. Next, uh, last but not least, is the labyrinth store. You stack up your labyrinth points for doing the arcane labyrinth. Once you get your Labyrinth tokens, you can actually buy heroes that are only available inside of this store. Key thing on this is Shamira. Uh, for those who are on a free-to-play account, you can buy copies of her and make her your carry hero. If you want to get her ascended to the final level, this is the place that you can do it at. Also, Thorin is in there too. So uh, take advantage of this. I know I am. I don't really waste my Labyrinth uh, tokens anywhere else but here. Unless you're trying to like get somebody else ascended, you can buy more of the uh, legendary heroes down here to feed to a more higher level ascended hero. But that is the Labyrinth store, and that's everything that's covered inside of the entire store for AFK Arena. Then you also have the trading hub. This is uh, where you've joined a militia. You can trade with those inside of the militia. You also have a global uh, auction place where you can buy uh, lots of cool items for a certain price once you stack this uh, dragon crystal. Then you also have the exchange where you can use your dragon crystals to buy uh, scrolls such as uh, faction scrolls for those summons inside of the uh, Noble Tavern. You know, common scrolls to be able to buy for the Noble Tavern as well. Uh, elite soul stones, rare soul stones, diamond chests, you know, hero essence chests, and gold chests. So I would utilize this uh, when you are in need of certain in-game uh, items to be able to progress. This is definitely the place to do it. Me personally, inside of my path or my journey in AFK Arena, I haven't hit a point where I need that yet, but I do see, you know, maybe mid to late game players using that more often. And guys, that pretty much covers every single section uh, inside of the Noble Tavern. Uh, we did go over the Oaken as well. Um, this is where if you do have friends and they have Ascended Heroes, they can place their Ascended Heroes inside of this hotel slash Oak Inn, and you're able to reap the benefit of claiming their chests. So, you can claim up to three chests a day. I highly recommend you guys use the red chests that are above the hero's heads. Don't do the purple ones, as the red ones give you the um, the most for your uh, for what you're claiming. So that is the Oaken. That is every single thing inside of the uh, Ranhorn section of AFK Arena. If you guys have any additional questions or any insight or any tips for the Ranhorn or any portion of today's video, drop it in the comments below. Hopefully today's video was beneficial to those who are newer on their journey. And like I said, those more seasoned players, I would love to hear some insight as well. But that covers everything, guys. 
hopefully uh, you enjoyed today's content. We will be making more videos throughout the week, uh, going more exclusively into like the Noble Tavern, the Temple of Ascension for those who need more of an in-depth guide. But as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.